Then God the Father, who's carrying the plan, and is the plan of creation, and God in the new beginning is carrying the plan, the plan of your creation, amen. The plan of your journey, the plan of your journey is carrying it on this day. So the Bible says that then the, then, 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 then the Holy Spirit as he's sitting there, is sitting there and saying that I cannot do anything until the word is announced. Amen. I cannot do anything until the voice of the Lord is announced. I cannot do anything until the word is spoken. Amen. Trinity working together in a seamless way. Holy Spirit positioning himself there and saying that you know the situation that of darkness that is in your life. You know of the power of the word, but I'm not going to do anything until you agree with the word, until you speak the word. Am I talking to the right people? Nothing will happen in your life until you open your mouth. Nothing will happen in your life, amen, until you speak the word, amen, until you speak the word. I'm not saying that you speak any word, I'm talking about the word with Jesus Christ. Speak Jesus Christ into your situation. Speak the power of the word into your situation. Stop making those prayers. I say, oh Lord, you can see my situation. Everything is collapsing and so what? All, all, the, all the angels are like, okay, oh, he's starting with that. Oh, do you hear? Do you hear what she's saying? And the other angels say that hey, nothing, nothing. I, 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 I haven't, well, what is she doing? She's throwing those tantrums. Where is she? She's on the floor, on the dust. On the dust where the serpent is. Whereas she's a king. She's not speaking like a king. Because have you ever seen the other, the other one is asking. Oh, 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 oh. He's even asking. Can we get just another job? Can we be reallocated? Because we have no job here. There's absolutely no word that is spoken into the situation. There's power in the word. Power in the word. Amen. The Bible says that in the beginning was the word. It doesn't say that in the middle was the word. It doesn't say that in the end was the word. It says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God the planner. All right. And the word was God himself. So in the beginning, wait. I want to shout and say, in the beginning, wait. If you miss the word in the beginning, you have missed the, the train that is departing. You need to speak the word. Am I talking to the right people? Speak the word in every situation as we are moving from one level to another. It starts, the journey is started with the word. You start anything with the word. You are where we, you are right now because you spoke the word that took you where you are. There was a starting point where you pronounced the word. But whilst you had not pronounced the word, you were stagnant. You need to speak the word that carries the power. Amen. So the Bible here says that then, then the Holy Spirit sitting there and waiting for the word. And God the Father had to speak the word into the situation. And what was the situation? It was darkness. So God the Father had to speak the opposite of what he was seeing. And the opposite of what he was seeing was the light. And say that let there be light. And the Bible says that and there was light. So when he spoke the word, the word has got the power of creating what is released for. All right, will never disappoint you. The Bible says that he said that let there be light and there was light. So when you speak the word and it, it, is, it, it has happened. You speak it and it has happened. Am I trying to the right people? 
So much power in the word. So he spoke the word and said that let there be light and there was light. We are in the beginning, the time of creation. So I said, Lord, what is it that you would want us to do? Because we are in the end times. That's the reality. In the end times, Satan has, has intensified his war against the people of God and is making us to feel like so comfortable. People are drifting away from Christ. I'm not saying that I'm marching out. No, 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 no. Are drifting away. That's the weapon of Satan. When Satan wants you to move you away from, from God, he, may, he, he, he cannot come and say that, hello, I'm Satan, and today I have come to move you from Christ. You're going to say, what? So he comes and tiptoes behind you and, and slowly but surely replaces the time of God that is in your life with his time without you noticing. All right? It happens without you noticing. So he, 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 his strategy is to leave you with, with justifications. For everything that you are doing, you have a justification. No, 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 no. I'm not going to church because, because they, they lied about me. Uh, because when you are coming to church to people, you are not coming to Jesus Christ, you are coming to people. No, 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 no. I'm not coming to church because I'm going to watch it on TV. That, that is that. He is slowly making you to forget about Jesus Christ. Making you to forget about Jesus Christ. He's diverting you. Because that moment that you are... Listen, is the truth all right? Is the truth? Is the truth? Remember that all of us, there was a time when we were all locked locked in our houses, when there was the national lockdown for COVID-19, all right, where we were all constrained in our houses. You are listening to this message on YouTube. As you are listening to it, Satan is diverting you. Oh, you need to go to the loo, okay? Oh, how, how about making yourself a cup of coffee? Uh, how about, uh, how about uh, maybe you need to start uh, putting your pots for the lunch, all right? Or, hey, let me call so and so, all right? You, you do that because you are at your space. Nobody is, is watching. Nobody is, no, you are not seeing any positive influence around you. Anyone who is paging the Bible, who is a good influence in your life because we need good influ influencers in our lives. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetuna? We need those people, people who are good influencers in our lives so that as I am sitting here, um, the Holy Spirit must rebuke me using something that I can see with my eyes. So, you are confined in your house, nothing. Instead, you are surrounded by everything that is diversion. Diverting you from what the Lord wants to do for you. Now, coming to what the Lord wants us to do, because I am not going to, I am not going to, um, I want us just to do a certain prayer, all right? And for this day which is something that the Lord just placed in my spirit. So as we go now on this day, the new beginning, in every new beginning, there's always darkness that is fighting your new beginning. In every new beginning, there's always a darkness that is fighting your new, your new beginning. Amen. In every new beginning, there is what is called the deep water that is fighting your new beginning. 
All right. The Israelites, when God was talking to Moses and said that they would go to the land of Canaan, the promised land, to get to the promised land, they had to overcome darkness. They had to overcome water. They overcame the Red Sea to cross over. And the Lord showing us that this pattern is generational. We see Joshua experiencing the same situation. Saying that my master, I saw God using my master to overcome the Red Sea that was standing before the promise of God. And now, as he has taken now the stick of, of his predecessor, that is Moses, God having given him and said that, hey, hey, Joshua, Moses is dead. And now you need to take over. And now, Moses, and now Joshua is faced with water. There's darkness. There's water. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetuna? Had to cross River Jordan. Next generation, River Jordan. Now, if you talk about the spirits of water. Because as people of God, we need to understand these things. How can you fight your opponent not knowing the blows of your opponent? Not knowing the strikes of your opponent, the weapons of your opponent. Not knowing the strategies of your opening. You are getting into a battlefield blindfolded. Because you don't know how your opponent moves. How he strikes. How he throws his punches. You don't know. And the definition of that is foolishness. Before the enemy can attack you, they study you, all right? They study you. His agents study you. They study your prayer time. They study, they study your, your, the time that you, you, that you read the word, all right? They study that because those are the times of power. They need to understand the patterns, all right? They need to understand how the day unfolds in your life. All right? And they have to go and check information that is about you. They cannot attack you without the information that is in your life. And they have to start first with, with the information of your bloodline. All right? They check from your bloodline and check, is there any necromancer that is in your bloodline? They check from your father's bloodline. Is there any necromancer? Is there any agent of Satan that is in your bloodline? All of them, they are agents of Satan. Is there any witch, any wizard, any, 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 any agent of Satan that is in, that is in this bloodline? They check from your mother's bloodline. All right, checking all these open doors that are in your bloodline. Then they come, they say, Oh, 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 in this family, this is the pattern of sins that are in this family. This is the pattern of wickedness that is in this family. And we know the patterns of wickedness that are in our families. Because you can see, you can see, if, if the sexual immorality, everyone that is in this bloodline, steps into sexual immorality one way or another, 
They are divorces in this bloodline. They are children born out of wedlock. Those are the ramifications of sexual immorality. All right? They are, they are, they are many concubines in this family. There's adultery in this family. There's fornication in this family. All of those are the ramifications of sexual immorality. You can see them. You can see them. You can start and say that, let me start from daddy. Let me look at mommy. Let me go, let me go down and check them. You will see. You will see. So the enemy looks at those studying you. And when you just want to get into the battlefield, and you are getting to the battlefield to fight for something that you don't know, they've studied you. Studied you. And then they come to you and then they check what are your strengths, all right? What are your weaknesses? So that we can, we can, we are cautious of the strengths. We strike on the weaknesses. We use the weaknesses as the doorways in our lives. All information is there and we don't bother about that information I want us today as we are entering into this new year the Bible says that this is what God says here in the book of first in the book of Colossians all right he says that listen this is what I do I blot out I blot out all the information, all right? The handwriting, all right, of ordinance. So I'm going to start here looking at yourself as to what is it that Satan has written about me? I cannot start this new beginning with Satan having information about me. That information is giving him power over me. Am I talking to the right people? That information, information is knowledge, is giving him power. Knowledge is power. So let me start with Satan knowing nothing about me. It's possible. Have you ever imagined the power of the blood? Just the drop of the blood. When you are losing the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ carries the DNA of Jesus Christ. So a single drop of that blood. What does it do in the kingdom of Satan? This is the blood that defeated Satan on the cross. So when you are coming with just the drop of the blood. The kingdom of Satan, when they need your blood, your DNA, a single droplet of your blood is enough for them to work against you. Now we are talking about a droplet of the blood of Jesus Christ. What damage that it can do in the kingdom of Satan. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetunan? So much power in the blood of Jesus Christ. When the Lord, when the Bible says that we overcame by the powerful blood of the Lamb. We overcame. So meaning that you become a conqueror by the blood of Jesus Christ. So the blood of Jesus Christ is a weapon. All right? Is a weapon that when you use, you use it with victory. There is no way that you can use the blood and come back. Being, being defeated. There is so much power that is in the blood of Jesus Christ. It defeated the master of darkness. It did not defeat the demons. It defeated the master of darkness. So everything that bows to Satan is already defeated by the powerful blood of the Lamb. Do we understand the power of the blood? That when I release the blood, I'm releasing Christ, Christ into the situation. When I say the blood of Jesus Christ, the demon see Christ. The demon see the Lamb of God. Am I trying to 
talking to, to the right people they see the only one who can open the seal when they see the blood when I say in the name of Jesus I lose the blood of Jesus Christ lose the blood of Jesus Christ you are losing Jesus Christ you are losing Jesus Christ cannot be de- he cannot be separated from the blood amen that's the DNA of Christ am I trying to the right people so today we need to lose the blood lose the blood and you have the picture of the blood lose the blood and say that just a drop of the blood I'm erasing every information that you collected against me in the mighty name of Jesus I'm erasing all the information I don't care what that you wrote about me I don't care the ordinances I don't care the judgment but I'm gonna erase them blot them out blot them out in the name of Jesus hallelujah blot my name out in Jesus name this is what we need to do in the name of Jesus they are so scared of the blood so scared of the blood of Jesus Christ so scared of the blood so scared of the blood it carries the image of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen now what is it the Bible here says that it says that blot out the handwriting I learned that Remember that this, this ex-sorcerer that I was talking to you about. That what she was saying is, all right, that when it is full moon, they will pull down the moon and, and write on the moon everything that will reprogram your destiny. So if your destiny is a destiny, is a bride because this is about your star. Where the Lord has purposed you for your life, they will go to the moon, pull down the moon. Listen right now. People as are sitting there, they say, oh, yeah, how can a moon be pulled down? It's because you are so fleshy, Weaver. You are living in your flesh, being a spirit being. But if you live in the realm of the spirit, you understand, you will know that it can be pulled down. It can be pulled down. There is so much power in the spirit. There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. There is no time in the realm of the spirit. So why as people of God are we overtaken? Why is it difficult for us to understand this truth? Whereas the agents of Satan master it. Why? We need ready to introspect and look at ourselves. What is wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Why it is so difficult? It's because we are too much into flesh. Too much in what? Ha, 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 ha. How can it, it be done? How can it be done? So that is why you start your prayer and you end it and you say amen still being here on earth. Not having navigated into the realm of the spirit because you are so conscious about everything that is about flesh. Am I trying to the right people? So she says that we pull it down and we reprogram. We are seeing you that you are successful in this. We write the opposite of everything that we are seeing. We reprogram your life. So the reason for that, which is something that she didn't mention, but I was asking the Holy Spirit and say that, why the moon? And the Holy Spirit said to me that when the moon comes down, it shines everywhere. So those evil utterances that are on the moon, they will be really seeing that information over your life. It doesn't matter where you are, they will still be catching you. So we'll be really seeing all those evil utterances. When you are waking up, you are doing exactly what was uttered by the moon against you. 
Am I talking to the right people? So these are the ordinances that are handwritten. And what she was saying is that we, we write with our hands. We handwrite. So that is why. Because Satan cannot do anything that is outside the word is going to be ineffective. So he knows that God here is talking about the handwriting. So for his power to be effective, it must be handwritten. Am I talking to the right people? Have you seen the, the curses that they write? They will write the curses, right? Write handwritten curses. Roll them in paper and put and put a lot of stuff that I don't know. All right? But they do that. And we see there was one that I saw also that was circulated. It was viral. And you could see that it is something that is handwritten. So now, today as we are starting the new year, every information must be reversed. Listen, you would wonder why I grew up being such a bright young man, having so many, many visions, all right? Or maybe have one bright vision about my life. All right, I was, I was great in this and so on. And then what happened? You don't know. What happened? I, I was aspiring to be a business person. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened to those things? That we were excelling in them. And now you find them having disappeared. What happened? What happened? Because, listen, water attacks marriages. Water attacks, attacks um, the purity of the bride, all right? Because water, water are the spirits of sex, so they attack the purity of the bride. They attack finances, all right? They attack the works of the hands. They attack relationships that God has established for us. All right? They drive away the kingdom financiers. They drive away the people of value that God has blessed you with. That is what water does. All right? Divide marriages, cause divisions, and so on. And cause also singlehood. It's called singlehood. It's called by the spirits of the waters. All right? But, but is there anything that we do? Is there anything that we do against the spirit of the waters? As, as you are sitting there, all right, you are looking at your finances and all that. Uh, is there anything that you are doing? Uh, are, you, are, you, are you sitting at home and thinking of the next business that you should be doing? Listen, you can do that, but that is, that, is, that is the next step after you have fixed it in the realm of the spirit. First, you need to fix it in the realm of the spirit and deal with the water spirits. And then come down and plan your next business. Because what happens in the realm of the spirit, what you are experiencing right now in terms of your finances, it was done in the realm of the spirit. It, it manifested in the physical. It was locked in the realm of the spirit. You are experiencing the ramifications of what happened in the realm of the spirit. So you cannot deal with the symptoms of the problem. You need to go and deal with the roots of the spirit. Yes. Am I talking to the right people? The roots of the problem. So we need to do that. So the Bible here says that the blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances, that was against us. So Satan writes everything that is against us, which was contrary to us and took it out of the way. So Jesus Christ blots it out. Everything that is contrary to the plan of God. And also move it out of our way. Let it be done right now. So now, what is it 
that Satan writes about us. The Bible says that he's, I mean, the, he, 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 Satan is sitting on the second heaven. All right? The first heaven, that's where you find the moon, the stars, all the constellation is the first heaven. When you are praying, your prayers can be blocked by the first heaven because the moon has got ordinances against you. The sun has got ordinances that are written against you. So as you are praying, it says, ah, oh, you are not passing when. Your prayers cannot pass because we have this authority over you. You are wondering when God is going to answer my prayers. There are evil covenants that are in the first heaven. Evil covenants that you made with Satan through deception in a dream. You covenanted with him in a dream. Listen, everything happens through a covenant. We are born again today because of a covenant. Everything occurs in the realm of the spirit through a covenant. You will never be attacked by Satan until you covenant with him. Because when I covenant with him, I'm giving him the legal right to attack me. All right? Because I have dominion over the earth. So we are the masters of the earth. Not of the world. Of the earth. So Satan cannot do anything on earth without our permission. Because God gave us dominion over all the... He gave us dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the earth, over the cattle, over everything that creepeth on earth. He gave us dominion. So Satan was not given that dominion. So we are the dominion carriers. There's nothing that can be done against us by Satan without covenanting with him. So he covenants with us through deception. He's the father of lies. And he does that mostly in the dreams. Where you find yourself, you have agreed to something that you would not have agreed to when you are awake. But you can reverse it. And all the information, he records it. Because why is Satan keeping records, all right? First, God keeps records, all right? But the next reason, because he's a copycat, the next reason that makes Satan to keep records is because he's not all present. He's not all knowing. So he has to collect information. God is all-knowing. God is all-present. And Satan is not wisdom. God is wisdom. All right? So he records all information. He uses his monitoring spirit, his guardian spirits, to collect all this information about us. And all those records, all the archives are in the second heaven. So when you are praying... If your prayers pass the first, the first heaven, they go, they go to the next. To, 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 when they pass the first heaven, they are also having to pass the, the second heaven. And the second heaven keeps the archives of Satan. Archives of Satan. Okay, who's praying right now? Uh, in the books. Oh, 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 is praise. Oh, is praise. Oh, praise has got this witness. Lord, you are the God of righteousness. You cannot listen to praise. When praise is still having this sin. You cannot give what praise is asking for. Because according to our records, praise has got this blocking the blessings. And we wonder because God is not going to stop being God. It's not going to, it's not going to, because listen, the, the rock cannot be beaten twice. So God is protecting the word. He's protecting, he's protecting his son is married to his word and the word cannot 
cannot cannot be cannot be cannot be cannot be changed all right so god is is after protecting the word because his son did the assignment once and for all and now we're waiting for the second coming so he's a god of justice he's not gonna bend towards you whereas there's information of sin that satan is raising against you so we need to blot it out we need to blot it out so what are we is it that we're blotting out we're blotting out all the information that is in the bloodline the reason that we have to blot out the information that is in the bloodline every family has got somebody who is used by satan every attack it happens from your family that is what the bible in the book of micah says chapter 7 all right it says that listen in chapter 7 it says that a man's enemies are the members of his own household that is verse 6 all right so it doesn't say that the man's enemies are the members of of of, of the community. No, 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 no. It says that a man's enemies are the members of his own household. If in your bloodline, all of you, you believe, to, you believe in Jesus Christ, you are all united, connected, believing your allegiance equal Christ to all of you, Satan will not be able to attack you. Not be able. But his strategy is to make all of us in our bloodlines. You will find that this one is there, that one is there, that one. So many gateways that are in your bloodline. In your bloodline. There is a witch in your bloodline. There is a necromancer in your bloodline. In your bloodline. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a wizard that is in your bloodline. There's a palm reader that is in your bloodline. There's all kinds of spirits that are in your bloodline. And if you are looking and say that, no, let me look here. It's, it's mommy and daddy and, and, and my sisters and all that. And we love Jesus here. Have you checked the next going down? The, the, have you checked the, the, the generation before you? Because the sins of the father are visited up to the fourth generation. So every poison that is still there, it can still rise up. You have in inherited it from your bloodline until you erase it. Until you do what? You erase it. Am I talking to the right people? Until you erase it. Let this new beginning start without all that information. Let Satan not know what, what to do when he deals with you because he has absolutely no information about you. So the Bible here says that, listen now, listen, this is what I'm saying is that when there is a witch that is in your bloodline, that witch opened the gateways for others to come and attack you. Oh, do you want to attack so-and-so? Oh, no, you can come because, I mean, so-and-so is giving us problems, is making those prayers that make everything that we do to go, to collapse. What is it that you want? You can come. We, we need your assistance, all right? They call all others that are outside. There is no one, no witch that is outside your bloodline that attacks you without the permission of the witchcraft that is inside your bloodline that's there so that information needs to be removed you need to cut the navel cord spiritual navel cord the blood navel cord all right the soul navel cord you remove it and you go straight then what is it that is about me you erase all the information that is about you what is it that you must erase you start with your id number all right your date of birth that's what i wanted to say start with your date of birth satan knows your date of birth that is what i will tell people that when it's gonna be your birthday tomorrow don't don't start baking cake and all that work on the spirit because there's a lot that's going to happen in the realm of the spirit concerning you. 
Because it's your birthday. And you are sending everything. You are sending your birthday, your, your invitations and all that. But you have not dealt with it in the realm of the spirit first. So you need to deal with it in the realm of the spirit. All right. Sort things and shut down the first heaven, the second heaven in the realm of the spirit. All right. And reverse everything that is connected to your birth. One time, I was in the court of heaven, and as I am there, I'm seeing this baby. This baby is being held like, you know, with both arms like this, and is naked. And I'm like, who is this? And the Holy Spirit says that this is you. And the Lord wants you to deal with the situation concerning you, all right? Before you were formed in your mother's womb, we don't deal with those things. They have a way of following us. We don't deal with those things. And we wonder why things are collapsing in my life. You did not deal with yourself. What if at the time you were conceived? Your parents never planned you. And when you were laid in, in that belly, your mother was crying and saying that I don't want you. Rejecting you. That's a spirit of rejection. So you are as, now you are a grown up, but you are finding that things, doors get shut. Get shut. It is because of the spirit of rejection. What if at the time that you were conceived, there was war between your parents and there was, there was blood, all right? Pain that was there. So you are growing up with so much pain. You are following pain. Wherever you are, you are releasing pain. It's like when you have stepped in a room, people are like, ooh, pain has entered. Why? It is because you were founded in a womb that had pain. We don't deal with those things. Those are the spiritual things that need to be reversed in the spirit. Before you can say that we're going to take you to counseling and all that, we're dealing with flesh when we're taking you to counseling. You need to deal with it and unlock it in the spiritual realm and, and, and reverse it in the realm of the spirit. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetunan? It's those things that we are experiencing. What if as a child, then your mother tells you that, Hey, I was struggling to conceive. And before I conceived you, we went to a, to a necromancer, a sangom. When I, you are a child that was asked from demons. And now you are born again. There's war of two kingdoms over your life. Because the demons are saying that, hey, 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 you belong to us. And you're like, yeah, 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 I belong to Jesus Christ. And you are struggling because you find yourself that you are in places in your dreams that you don't know. Because there's, there's war in the realm of the spirit. You never cut the navel cord. Never cut it. Never cut it. Am I talking about, am I talking to the right people now? So we really need to look into these things. And these things, they get to your children. And you are wondering, my child is experiencing the same thing. Umtuanawam, we are zivalele rumini. It's like morose. What is happening? What is happening? And, and you are separating yourself from that thing. You are not looking at yourself. You forget that with you. You had to deal with it in the realm of the spirit. You were having the same situation. There was something that was called depression that you had. 
You had depression. Never dealt, you dealt with it. But you did not cut, cut, cut the navel cord. Because the navel cord, it passes through. It's a cord that passes through to the next generation. Am I talking to the right people, Nabetunan? So if you have dealt with it physically, you need to deal with it in the spirit. So we need to deal with these things. Just diagnose, yes, spiritually diagnose your children. Would you please just when you get home, spiritually diagnose your children. And you look, start from yourself and go down. And spiritually diagnosing your children. Because what, what, what your, your child could earn it from your grandfather could earn it from the great grandfather. So don't look only at yourself. Look at the other generations that are in your bloodline. Satan has got that information. If as a person, you know your, your closet, where you are keeping your skeletons. Hey, I lie, yes. I have got this problem, God. Hey, I lie. Deal with it. It's an open door. You cannot create anything. God does not create on a land that's got weeds. So that is why you see the new year comes and it goes by without you having experienced any improvement. Because there are weeds that are in your life that Satan is using against you. So remove those lies. Hey, I've got pride, God. Remove that. Remove your wicked, your, your, your weaknesses. Remove them. You know them better. You know them better. Remove them. Remove, remove. I've got greediness. Remove that. I've got, I've got this problem of laziness. Remove laziness. Remove it. Because that information is what Satan is using to get into your life. Now, after that, you remove your date of birth, all the numbers that are concerning you, because Satan loves numbers. You remove your ID number. You remove your, 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 your cell phone number. All right? Your cell phone number. I was telling pastors this morning that one time I'm having a dream. And, and in this dream, uh, as, as it starts this dream, it starts with, with the cables that are being, it's a wall. This wall is a wall that looks like there are so many cables that are there. So then it starts then this dream by I'm seeing a hand that is putting four cables on the wall. This wall, these cables are huge, great cables are put on the wall. The next thing now, they, my, my phone switches on in the dream and a face of a man appears and this man is talking to me. <laughs> it's a connection. Connection that came through the phone and you ignore your phone. Satan is able, the agents of Satan, they are able, they know your phone and connect with you spiritually using your phone. Am I talking to the right people? So when I woke up, then the first thing I had to pull, pull down, okay, pull out those cables. That was the first thing because the Holy Spirit was showing me, you see now, see how, how they connect, they connect to you. They put, they put the cables and those cables, they connect to your phone. And I was not even hearing what this man was saying because as he's talking with me on the screen, I'm looking at the cables, I'm looking at him, I'm looking at the cables. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. There's a, there's a connection, Mozilla. You see? And we ignore those things. Ignore those things. That a phone is a point of connection. Erase it. Erase your cell phone numbers. Others that have got cell phone numbers, erase them. All right? Erase the earth number of your house. Erase the address of your house, the physical address of your house. Erase, erase, erase your certificates of education that Satan has. All right? Erase them. 
It's all about your life. Erase, erase, erase any connection that's got numbers. Erase, erase, erase your birth certificate. Erase that information that Satan has about you. All right? Erase them. Go, know the earth number of your house. Know it. Because when they send their things, they send it to a particular earth number. Erase it. Erase it. Now, erase also. Erase all this information that is con in connection with you. And I would like us to start right now to do this prayer. All right? I want us to do that. I want you to be so determined, Eva. Be so determined and say that it must get off. It must get off in Jesus' name. I don't want any information that Satan has against me. As I'm starting right now, I'm blotting it out. Remember this. This is what I was saying, all right? Holy Spirit is reminding me that I did not finish. Listen, this sorcerer was saying that as sorcerers, she was, she's an ex sorcerer right now, but was saying that we are so scared of collusion. Collusion chapter 2, verse 14. We are scared. The moment a born again mentions collusion chapter 2, verse 14, they say that all the work that we did for years collapses collapses. He says that the information gets clean. It gets wiped off completely. He says that we are so scared because we worked so hard and was, was saying that this information says that, look at this, this information, it was passed. We have to go and buy this information. You are buying this information from that one. And it, it, gets, it gets passed from one hand to another. And as it is passed, it gets larger and larger. So the moment that it gets erased, wow. He says that with the blood, with Colossians chapter 2 verse 14, it can be wiped all in information collected, generational information. <laughs> Wiped by the powerful blood of the Lamb. And now they have absolutely nothing about you. Let it be as we are starting. Erase that information. Erase that information. Erase the choice of food that they know. So that the evil feeders do not know what to feed you at night. Erase that information. In the name of Jesus, erase the code for your Wi-Fi so that they are unable to get through you using the Wi-Fi. Erase that information. All right? Erase the code of your decoder at home. Erase that information so that they don't know how to get into you. In the name of Jesus. Am I talking to the right people, Nabitunan? Erase that information. Now I would like you, it's up to you if you want to rise up, but be determined, you ever. Erase. Erase. And if you are married, also say that I'm, I'm putting here, I'm putting here the bloodline, you mention it, your bloodline, bloodline, kamama, katata, bloodline. You must know that the bloodline. The bloodline, the bloodline that's got a spiritual authority is the bloodline of your father in the realm of the spirit. But in most instances, so, but I'm not there, all right? But right now, listen. The Lord whispered this word to me to say that we get to the new year. We end nothing because we don't master the beginning. We don't fight for the beginning. 
And I was looking at the Jews. The Jews, they start, this is the period. Today is the day why of repentance. Up to the 10th day, the Yom Kuba. They are repenting right now. They are cleaning up the new beginning so that they can receive blessings. But what is it that we do when it is going to be the new year? Ah, we are in our kitchens. We are, we are cooking seven color lunches and so on. But with the Jews, they are busy repenting because they understand the power and the blockages of Satan so that you cannot be, they understand that the, the, the weeds, the weeds must be uprooted. They must be gathered in one place and be burned. They understand that principle. Amen. So let's do it right. I want you, you can rise up, you can sit down, but please let the Holy Spirit speak to you. I have learned that a prayer that is focused is a prayer that is effective. Prayer that is focused. Because when they do their incantations, they don't do their incantations all over. They focus. They focus when they do their incantations. But we, people of God, I, I, hallelujah, I, Lord, in the name of Jesus. There are people who are saying in the name of Jesus without, without spiritual focus. That name releases no power when you are not releasing it. Knowing that when I say in the name of Jesus, this is what should be happening. So we become so ineffective in the realm of the spirit. I want us to pray. All right. I'm